Within the games of Halo, we travel to multiple locations throughout the galaxy of the Milky Way. We even travel to three different Halo rings, those rings being Alpha, Delta, and Gamma Halo. But the games don't really give you a sense of where in the galaxy these rings are located. But I found a way to map out all the Halo rings within the Milky Way galaxy. So in this video, we're going to answer the question, where are all the Halo rings located? So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our lore kind of video when it comes to Halo. If you like this kind of video, so make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know if you want to see some more content like this. It greatly helps out the video and channel. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe. Keep yourself up to date with everything going on. Let's get right into the video here. The Halo Array, a group of rings that are meant to destroy all sentient life to stop the flood from overtaking the entire galaxy. A final measure to make sure pure evil of the flood does not take over. And we do travel to many of these rings, but you never really get a sense of where in the galaxy these rings are located. Generally, you have to kind of go into external media like books or online to find more information about where these Halo rings are actually located because the games themselves don't really explain so well. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys where all those Halo rings are located and it's not as simple as you think it might be. So the first thing I did was grab a map of the Milky Way galaxy. This is literally the map from NASA. So this is probably the most accurate version that we can possibly get of a top-down view of the Milky Way galaxy, which it does look rather accurate as it is from NASA. So that would make sense. But then I went online, did some reading on where these locations of various halo rings are. And it ended up kind of looking like this, not the most even spread you would think that the forerunners would do to try to make sure that they would cover all of the galaxy. Cause that's the idea of these halo rings that once they're all set off in concert, that it's supposed to wipe out all sentient life within the galaxy. But as you can see, the spread really isn't that logical. And also, we do know that the spread of each explosion from a halo ring is 25,000 light years. So there's actually is a scale on here as well for how many light years each ring is uh, an extra five light years. But I went ahead and scaled the blast radius of each halo ring within these locations. And as you can see right here, it doesn't exactly cover the entire galaxy as it's mentioned within the halo lore itself. I mean, it mainly covers the central part of the Milky Way, which is where most of the galactic civilizations are located. But obviously, there are plenty of locations where the halo array explosions do not touch the Milky Way galaxy to proper scale. So then I was thinking, okay, something is not right here. Apparently, Halo does not use a true to scale or properly modeled version of the Milky Way galaxy. They kind of use a more artistic version of it. I mean, when Bungie set this whole thing up, they did get it generally right. They do use actual arms that are located within the Milky Way galaxy. We have a spiral bar galaxy, which is what we have for the Milky Way as well. But the exact size, scale, in general location of these arms isn't exactly accurate to real life. And I confirmed this talking to a member of the Halopedia webpage, which if you guys don't know Halopedia, they are basically the Wikipedia of Halo. They do a lot of research. It's very up to date. They do a fantastic job over there. Like to have their sources linked in the description down below. And so I was informed that we actually only have one true galaxy map that's ever been made for Halo. And that galaxy map can be found in the book Halo Warfleet, which mainly focuses on the different ships that are within the Halo universe, goes into really cool detail. I actually own the book myself. It's a pretty interesting thing just to kind of look at the different statistics and sizes and scale and uh, how the inner workings of these ships work. It's actually kind of interesting. But within this book, they do show an actual galaxy with the map of various locations within the Halo universe. Obviously, taking a picture of a book doesn't exactly translate super well for a video. So I figured I'd go into finding a actual image of this map and then map it out for you guys to showcase generally where these Halo rings are located within the Milky Way galaxy for Halo. A big difference between the actual galaxy map that we have here that's from NASA to the Halo galaxy map is the orientation of where the Earth is in the galaxy. As you can see right here in the center part where the sun is located right here, this is where we are located within the galaxy. You can kind of see we're kind of off tilt to the center bar of the galaxy, but when you switch over to the Halo map, it actually places us right about here within the galaxy right about here which you can see 
not exactly the same type of orientation to the center of the galaxy. So this is what I'm talking about. There are some discrepancies. It's rather accurate, but not 100%. After utilizing this image and then referencing what's in the book Halo Warfleet, this is the map that we came up with. You can see now that with all these red dots, these are all where the Halo rings are located. Uh, Gamma Halo is actually positioned a little bit further out to the right, just that this image is cut off for some reason, so this is the best I can do. But it's just about in this location, right more about here. But you can see how the distribution of the halo rings is much more central within the galaxy and much more evenly distributed as well. Now the main issue being that this image is at a tilt and it kind of takes some artistic liberties so I can't exactly test out if this 25,000 light year radius for each explosion for a halo ring would actually cover the entire galaxy itself but I think at this point I kind of did like take their word for it, for it really. But right next to Earth, we have Alpha Halo. This is where Combat Evolved takes place on in the galactic neighborhood of Earth, which is kind of interesting to think about. And if we travel over to the right, we have Gamma Halo right here. This is actually the Halo ring that you see within Halo 4. I actually forgot there was a Halo ring in Halo 4, but hey, it's right there. And just a little bit, I guess, north of that is Delta Halo is one of the locations within Halo 2. That's the Halo ring that you land on over there. And over here on the left side of the image, we have the Halo ring where Halo Infinite is going to be taking part on. It's Zeta Halo. Zeta Halo has a long, very interesting history. You definitely want to know some more Zeta Halo. I do believe I made a video on this channel. For what you guys want to check that out, check out this channel for sure. Now, I'm sure some of you have the question of, but Kevin, Alpha Halo was destroyed within Combat Evolved. And you'll be very correct. But there is currently a replacement on the way for Alpha Halo. Now, this is, we'll be getting into some spoilers here at this point. So if you guys want to click off the video, I totally understand. This video is timestamped as well as linked in the description down below for more timestamps if you want to kind of skip ahead to the end. But if you played through Halo 3, you do remember that there was a replacement Halo that was being built on the lesser arc out there. And Master Chief being little Master Chief, he decided, well, they worked the first time, so let's do it again and blow up that Halo ring. And so that one was destroyed. It was meant to be replacing Alpha Halo. But don't worry, the Forerunner still put in together some kind of fail-safe plan or whatever happened. But in Halo Wars 2, another Alpha Halo gets created right there for Installation 09. Professor Ellen Andrews is actually on the Halo Ring, finds a way to try to get that Halo Ring over to the soil system where the original Alpha Halo was to try to send up some kind of distress beacon to let people know, hey, we're over here, come save us. But during the events of Halo Wars 2, the ring does go through slip space and starts traveling its way over to where it needs to replace Alpha Halo. But during transit, it was actually intercepted by a Guardian, and that's where we're left off right now with Installation 09. We don't know exactly where it is, we just know that the creative control that Halo ring. So it kind of seems like right now, if all the Halo rings went off in the galaxy, actually Earth would be kind of safe right now at the moment with the absence of Alpha Halo being where it should be. That within the blast radius, I guess Earth will kind of be okay with Halo Infinite taking place on Zeta Halo. And it seems like it's going to be kind of a very strong, prominent location where the game's going to be taking place. That I would probably assume we're going to be seeing most of the stuff on Zeta Halo, not much with Earth. But yeah guys, those are all the Halo rings and their current locations. If you like these kind of lore videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know when we see some more content like this. If you missed any content from me recently or new to the channel, check out the videos on the screen or over here. I link to all my news and information on our videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.